my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I am so excited because I'm gonna be telling you all about my favorite wallet. I'm sure if you guys have been following me for a long time now, you know what that is, but we are going to dedicate this video to the lovely Louis Vuitton Rosalie. I just love this wallet so much. I can't say enough good things about it. So in today's video, I am going to break it down for you. I'm gonna tell you the description. I'm gonna show you how I use it, you know, what fits. I'm gonna tell you the positives and the negatives. And I am just gonna gush over this wallet right here because I feel like this is kind of an underrated wallet. I don't hear a ton of people talking about it. And you guys know that I have a love for luxury goods. I have quite a few small other goods that I've collected over the years. And this is just one of my favorites. And today I'm gonna to tell you why. So if that sounds like something you guys would be interested in, make sure to stick around. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And let's get right into everything you need to know about the Rosalie Wallet. Hey guys, we are going to start with the description of this baby right here. So here is the beautiful Rosalie. I have it in the monogram with the rose ballerine interior. I want to share with you the dimensions really quick. It is 4.33 inches in length, 3.15 inches in height, and it's about 0.98 inches in depth. This is just so such an amazing wallet. It really, really is. This one in particular is the monogram canvas with the beautiful rose ballerine interior. The great thing about this wallet, it comes in, I think I saw about four different styles. You can get it in the monogram with the rose ballerine, the monogram with the fuchsia, the damier Ben with the beautiful rose ballerine interior, which is a beautiful combination, and the damier azure with the rose ballerine. I recently saw on the website, they have the new a wild at heart Rosalie which oh my gosh I think that one has my heart that one retails for a little bit more than this one and we will get into the price but I just wanted to kind of share with you the different combinations that they have to offer so let's kind of break down the Rosalie if you are new to it and you're not really familiar with it so you have the monogram canvas this one it doesn't have a back pocket or anything it has the leather push button right here you open it up right here, and mine in particular is made in Spain. You can see it has the little push button closure. You open it up, there is a little compartment here, a little compartment here, and then there is a back fold, and then there is a zip compartment right here if you are a change person. This is also cowhide leather trim and you see it is gusseted there. So this wallet currently retails for $400, which I know in the grand scheme of things, $400 is a lot of money, but if you compare it to some of the other Louis Vuitton wallets out there, it's actually priced really well considering I think this is like a one-stop shop wallet in the sense where it carries your cash, your cards, and your change and I will get into the positives and negatives. Okay, so the great thing about this wallet that I love, you can just see it is so cute and compact, and you wouldn't expect it to be so little but be able to fit so much. So you can you have a little spot right here for your change, you have a spot right here for your cards, and then there is a compartment back there that we use for cash. So let's go ahead, let me spin you guys around, and I'm gonna show you how I typically pack this wallet and what can fit. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's see what fits in this beautiful Rosalie wallet. So let me just quickly give you an overview. You can see the front. There is the back still in immaculate condition. You open it like so. And you can see it has a fold back here where you can use for cards. I actually use this for my cash. There is a compartment here in which you can put cards, a compartment here, and then there is this accordion style opening. And then you also have a spot right here for your coins, which you can see I have a little bit of coin residue, but not too bad. So now I wanna share with you how I typically pack this wallet. So first off, keep in mind, obviously it's a small compact wallet. I do use cash in it, but you're gonna have to fold it. So I fold it once. Now I just usually carry a little bit of cash, not too much. If you carry too much, it will tend to bulge, but this is the perfect compartment back here. 
I just slip my cash in there and you see how nicely it fits. I just love that. I just have, let's see how much, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have like $9 right here. Put that in the back, but you can fit a little bit more. I have a little bit of change here in which you can put there and then you can zip that up right there. And then I have cards. And this is what I think is the most appealing thing about this wallet. It can fit so many cards. You can put it here, but I just like to have them loose. So I just have a bunch of gift cards that I'm gonna share with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have about 10 cards. And what I like to do is just put them right in there. And you can see, you can even fit more and let me show you how that closes closes very nicely it doesn't really pucker too much and it still stays nice and compact but what i like is if you're at the grocery store or something you go to pay you just open it up and because of the gusset here it's just easy to find your card you don't have to finagle with trying to get your card in and out of a card slot if you want to pay with cash you just reach for your cash and that fits it back in there nicely obviously if you need coins the best way i like to use it is to just squeeze it this way otherwise it can be a little cumbersome getting your hands in because it's small but if you squeeze it it works but you can see this wallet fits quite a ton I have 10 cards but it could obviously fit more but this is how I like to use it and you can see it is so cute and compact just a great great wallet Okay, now that you saw what this wallet can fit, now's the time for me to gush over it. I'm gonna go over the positives and then I'm gonna go over the negatives. Okay, so to start, this is such a compact wallet. And the reason I say that's a positive is because, I don't know about you guys, but I carry a ton of smaller crossbody bags. And if you have a small compact wallet, then it enables you to carry other things as well. So this wallet is little, but it fits in quite a few of my handbags. The Gucci Soho Disco, it fits in the YSL camera, it fits in the uh, Chanel mini rectangular, like you name it, this wallet fits and that's why I love it. Sometimes with the full size wallets, you might be able to fit it in your smaller crossbody bags, but you can't fit much else. And that's what I love about this little compact wallet. Another thing, as you saw in my what fits this fits a ton. I really think this is targeted to people that use a lot of cards. And for me, I am one of those people that I have my ID, I have my major credit card, I have tons of store credit cards. I also will keep some little coupons and stuff in here. So this is great because it does fit quite a few cards, which is really, really nice. Plus another thing that I like is it's easily accessible. So if you do carry a lot of cards, you know how sometimes it can be a little bit of a nuisance getting the cards in and out of the little slots here they're all just sticking there so you can easily pull them out because of the gusseted card holder it opens up and enables you to view all the cards so it definitely fits a lot and it's great to fit a lot of cards another thing that is really nice it's a one-stop shop wallet so not only is it little and compact but it fits cash in the back pocket here where you can fold up some cash if it's all the cards and then if you're a coin person which i know we are few and far between but i myself am, am still a coin person it also has a place for coin and there are very few wallets that are this little that enable you to carry cash card and coin that are so kind of organized i like it because you know it's not like you have like one pouch where you throw it all in you have it a little bit organized so i absolutely love that Another thing that is a huge positive, at least in my book it is, I know it's all relative, $400 is still a lot of money, but for Louis Vuitton, this wallet right here is super, super affordable, especially when you compare it to the Zoe wallet or the Zippy wallet or the Victorine wallet. This comes in at $400. All of the designs are $400 with the exception of the Wild at Heart, but you know that's pretty typical if you have more of a limited edition piece that is going to be a little pricier, but I think the price is really really good considering what you get another thing this wallet is super lightweight even when I have all of my cards and my cash and everything in it super lightweight it doesn't feel heavy some people have complained about it getting a little bulky I have not found that um, and it doesn't really bother me too much especially when I have all of my cards in it another thing I really like that I mentioned is the easy access so if you're at the store you just grab it you open it up if you need cash you pull it out here if you need your credit card you have the gusseted part which expands so you can reach your credit 
credit card and then you have your coin here so it's really really easy sometimes I don't know about you but some of the other wallets I own if I'm at the grocery store or something it can be kind of a pain it can be a hassle to you know grab things it might not be organized but I love that this is little compact one-stop shop everything is in one place Another thing I want to mention is I have probably used this wallet more than any of my others and I have minimal wear and tear. As you can see, the canvas looks nice. There's no glazing. Um, even the button on this one is good. With some of my other pieces, I've had to worry about the leather button, but this one has been great. Uh, you can open it. I don't have any color transfer and you can see the inside there. Let's see, the only thing is I do have some coin residue. So if you are a coin person, keep in mind there is a little bit of coin residue, but other than that, it looks absolutely amazing. Okay, so those are all of my positives. There were quite a few, as you know. Now let's go into the negatives of this wallet. I don't have a ton, but there are some. Now, one of the negatives is if you are not a card person, which I think most of us are, but if you're not a card person and you are a cash person, keep in mind, you do have to fold your bills. So. If you fold them once, it fits in there. I showed you that in the what fits. So you do have to fold your cash. It's not like one of those wallets where you can have your bills straightened out. And it doesn't fit a ton of bills. Like I would say I can just have like a handful of bills fold in there. But if you're someone who carries like a lot of cash, it, it will start to kind of pucker out a little bit. Unless you're someone that doesn't use cards, you can put the cash folded in there as well. So keep that in mind. I definitely think this wallet is more suited for someone that carries cards. Another thing too is we're going to talk about um, coins. Obviously because it is compact, sometimes it doesn't carry as that many coins. It still carries a good amount and sometimes it can be like a little hard to get in and out of for the coins, but it really hasn't bothered me that much, but it's just something that I kind of wanted to mention. So I have to be honest, for me personally, those are the only two negatives. And guys, I am so in love with this wallet. I just cannot say enough good things about it. There are so many positives. It's so underrated. It's so cute and compact and it fits in so many bags. It's a one-stop shop because you have your cash and your cards and your coins. It's easy access, it's lightweight, it is priced well compared to other Louis Vuitton items. There's little to no wear and tear. I could go on and on about this wallet. It is so incredibly amazing. A lot of you ask me all the time, you're like, what is your favorite wallet? And I've mentioned that I absolutely love this Rosalie, but I had never done a video kind of breaking it down for you, so that's why I wanted to do that for you today. I just absolutely love this. It is so great. And as I stated, if I do have an opportunity, I probably am going to pick another one of these up. Either the Damier Azure with the beautiful rose ballerine interior, or I would love that Wild at Heart collection is so beautiful as well. But this is such a good wallet and I would highly recommend it. So like usual, you guys, I will try to find this item and I will link it down below. If you have any questions at all for me, please feel free to reach out. I know that these items can be expensive, so that if there's anything I can do to help, that is what I'm here for. Feel free to reach out, send me a comment on YouTube, or send me a message on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram handle here, and I will also put it down below as well. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button, and I'd love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. Have a wonderful day, you guys. Thanks so much for joining and I'll see you in my next video.